Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Billy with Craft and Cake with Billy. Super excited to have you guys here with me today. Um, if you are new here to my channel, I'd like to welcome you here and welcome back to everyone else. So glad you're here. We are working on a junk journal and this is the first time I'm actually showing my process. And of course, my process may not be the same as other people's process. I can only show you my own process and I hope you enjoy it. Um, so last, the last video I posted, we picked out papers and we also used some alcohol ink to decorate some of the pages. So if you didn't see that video, I'll link it below. Check that one out first. Um, the next step in my process, I find a, I like to go and look for vintage books that have these covers like this. And I, I guess what you call gut them. I take all of the pages out. Uh, you can use a box cutter or anything sharp to just go right here in the grooves. And then you're gonna take this entire section of papers out. So after I cut my pages on both sides here, I'm gonna end up with just pages, right? So here are the pages, and then I have an empty shell of a book, just like this, okay? So I wanted to do it that way so you don't have to sit and watch this whole process. So you're just cutting out your book pages, and you're left with this. Now the next step, I like to cut just a little thin layer of, um, you can use like cardboard or something like that just to cover up this section here. And then I take a piece of material and cut it to size so that it just, it's just enough to cover that section. So like maybe this much just to cover up that middle section, just one piece, okay? All right, and I glue that in with, um, you can use the glue for, you know, for material, um, and I also use some hot glue as well, just for, just to reinforce that. Okay, then I like to take a nice piece of fabric this is a thicker fabric and I cover the outside of my book, cut it to size, of course. You're gonna cover the outside just like that. And then I like to fold it over and cover the inside as well, okay? So make sure you cut your material to the size you need it and then lay it flat on its back, glue it all down, and then glue the insides as well. Okay? All right, so that's the next step. And if you'd like, sometimes I like to cover the book first and then add that strip of material down the middle so you won't see the seams, okay? All right, so. I know that was a quick way to show, but you will end up with something that looks something like this. So I have covered my book with some pretty, pretty, pretty material here, some fabric. And those papers that we talked about last week, I actually, um, I had too many in one um, signature, so I split them into two different signatures, and I sewed them into my book, okay? So and now it's not just one signature. I have this signature and this signature, all right? I will um, show you how to kind of camouflage this 
later on. But these are the papers that we talked about. And I also went through and collaged some papers just to make this junk journal a little bit more interesting. I will show you how to do that in today's video. So we are going to jump into that. Um, now, in a junk journal, you can use so many different papers and things. I like to also incorporate some different style envelopes, small ones, large ones, just different styles and sizes. Um, so today we are going to decorate an envelope to put into our junk journal. And I have several scrap papers and wonderful things to use today. Um, I found these from, I believe Amazon a while back. And these are wonderful if you like to you to make the vintage looking um, junk journals. I love the script. Check out these, Th these are music papers. I love that vintage look. So these are a wonderful collection to have from Amazon. I actually already have that one in the junk journal. So, so just use whatever papers you have. Um, I am going to kind of collage. I'm going to kind of collage these envelopes just to make it interesting, make them interesting. All right, so this is what I have. I'm just going to do a little bit of tearing. I love the look of tear paper, torn paper, excuse me. <laughs> um, it just gives it a whole nother feel, I think. So it adds to that vintage look. Whenever I tear my pages, I like to add some ink. So we will be using some Distress Oxide Vintage Photo, my favorite. I'm just gonna add some ink and we're gonna just ink around this baby. And just get many different papers. They don't all have to be, you know, the vintage craft paper. You can use basically any paper you have laying around the house and start tearing and inking and you won't know the difference. So it's okay if you don't have exactly what I'm using. You can just make it your own. I'm gonna grab some more papers here. So how are you guys doing today? Hope everybody is doing well today. We got a nice pretty fall day here. And I believe it's supposed to be like 80 degrees this weekend. So I guess we'll jump back in the summer for a little while. All right, so I'm just tearing along the edges. I just don't want any straight edges for my middle section of my envelope, maybe around the sides. We can have some straight edges, so I'll just go ahead and tear those. All right, so I'm just gonna add some ink around, 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 around. Now you can do this without adding ink. If you don't like the vintage look, you don't want it to look too um, super vintage. You don't have to add the ink, but I just like to, I like to add the ink and I like the sound. It's quite relaxing. Okay. And around I go. All right. So this is what we have so far, just some 
vintage pieces. I'm going to go around these straight edges as well. I forgot to tell you guys, um, when I covered my junk journal with the fabric, I went ahead and picked out some trim just to go around the top and the bottom of my junk journal so that um, it just adds a little bit of flair. So I just added some pretty trim to go on the top and the bottom. All right. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and grab my very favorite glue, my art glitter glue, and we're going to pray that this thing works. Sometimes it gets clogged and it's hard to um, it's hard to get it unclogged sometimes. But I think we're good. So first I'm going to start off with the edges. So this is my straight edge. I'm just gonna put some glue on there. And stick a piece here. And I like to leave at least one of them with, a couple of them with straight edges so I won't have a problem along the sides when I get ready to to match the sides correctly. Okay, I'm gonna put some glue there. And yes, this is upside down. Nobody knows but me and you. <laughs> I don't think people really pay attention to that. And we're gonna kind of hide it so you won't be able to really tell a difference. Okay, so we did like this one. Let's play around here and see what combinations we like. Um, that might be a little bit too big. We want a little bit of everything, right? Some variety, variety is good. Okay. Now I like, I like the little bit of pink in here, the little pop of pink. That makes me happy. Whenever there's pink, I'm happy. So we're gonna put some glue on the back of this piece and find a home for it right here I like it okay now let's find a home for this one sometimes there's the the little pieces of white edge there that you can just tear off okay and then let's see we're gonna do some overlap now, if your paper hangs off the bottom a little bit, it's totally fine. All we have to do is just cut that off at the end. And I do want some of this beautiful, let's do this one. Isn't that pretty? Mm. I'm just trying to figure out how I want. That looks good there, right? Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Okay. Got glue on there. And on our hands and in our fingers. And boom, there we go. I love to collage. What about you guys? You like to collage? I love paper, of course, and just putting them all together. All of my favorites is so very satisfying. <laughs> all right, so we have some more here and we wanna lay this one 
this way. Okay. And let's remember the pieces that we tore off earlier, we can use those as well just to go right across, fill in any gaps across the top. What do you think of that? It's also nice uh, when you make these different collages to have something like a huge flower or a bird or a um, mushroom. I mean, anything. You can use it for a focal point and you can use your collage as sort of a background and then boom, stick a flower or stick, you know, some, some object in the front just for a focal point in your piece. I am going to place this one here. Move it just a bit. Okay, that's nice. All right, we're gonna fill in one more little gap there. Maybe right here. Tear that. So what's new guys, what are you working on? You guys getting ready for any of the fall events? I know there's a lot going on right now. If you do the corn mazes and all the different fall activities they have out right now. There's a motorcycle. Okay. Um, let's see, maybe one tiny piece here and then we're done with this one. Okay, I'm gonna stick this piece here just to fill in the gap. And then I like to ink around, oh, first I, have, I did have some overhang. So cut that overhang. And then we want to just ink around our envelope. Now, you may want to decorate the back as well, just like the flap there. And I probably will end up decorating the back. I just wanted to show you the concept, so show you how to do that. I'm just adding some ink all around to Give it some character. I saw a couple of white spots, so I'm just adding a little bit of ink there. Okay, now is the fun part. We're gonna find a spot for this in my journal. Okay, so. I really love this and I think that that will look nice, don't you? Wouldn't that look nice as a flip out right there? Okay, we have other options. Let's just check to see what we have. And then we'll find a spot for it. Mmm, I kind of like it there. Let's see what's back there. Hmm. Isn't that nice? Yes, I think I want it there. That way, let's see. What I'm gonna do is cut off some of this flap because I don't want it to cover up too much of the page that's behind it. So we're gonna cut off some of that. And then we're gonna just add some glue right across that flap. Okay, that way we don't cover up too much of this side, but I do like this here. And it gives a hidden, a place for a hidden pocket. Okay. So we have that there and that flips open and here's a hidden pocket. There's a tuck, a pocket, and then a flip. 
Does that make sense? Can you see everything here? All right. I hope I was in frame. <laughs> so again, that is the pocket or a tuck here. I made a pocket there and then we have a flip from the envelope we just collaged. So, all right. So we're moving along in our junk journal. I hope you're following along. And um, again, go back and check out the first part of you know, getting the papers together, adding alcohol ink. And I hope this process is helpful, helpful for all of you. I also have a junk journal flip through that I posted a few weeks ago that I would love for you to check out. I will link all of the information below. I hope you guys are doing well out there. And thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to do that. I would appreciate it. So just like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Also, um, if you would, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Take care. All right, happy crafting. Bye.